In this problem, we'll be finding the normal stress if a tension force and if a compression force is applied to a block. Let's first go over what normal stress is. Normal stress is when the force is acting on the object 90 degrees perpendicular to a cross-sectional plane. So if we take the force that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane and divide it by the area of the cross-sectional plane, we are left with a pressure, which is the normal stress. So if the force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane is pulling the object apart, it is in tension and has a tensile stress. If the force acting on the object that is 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane is compressing or pushing the object together, it is in compression and has a compressive stress. Now let's do an example problem. We have a block with a tension force of 1,005 newtons acting on it. It has a cross-sectional area of 0.025 meters by 0.011 meters. So if we take the force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane and divide it by the area of the cross-sectional plane, we will get the tensile stress. After plugging in all of our numbers, we get a tensile stress of 3,654,545 pascals or newtons per meter squared. Now we will complete the same problem, but this time the block has a 3,141 newton force acting in compression instead of the previous tension force. It is acting over the same cross-sectional area of 0.025 meters by 0.011 meters. Once again, if we take the compressive force over the cross-sectional area, we get a stress, but this time it is compressive stress. After plugging in all of our numbers, we get a compressive stress of 11,421,818 pascals or newtons per meter squared. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.